Hey everybody, this is Vince Miller. Thank you so much for joining me for another devotional. Today we are in the Gospel of John. I'm going to read John 1, verse 1. I know I've read this for the last like three days. Just bear with me one more day here. It reads, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. So as we referenced yesterday, the noun word is repeated three times in this sentence, but it's not the only word repeated. You're going to notice here that John repeats other words multiple times. One of them is the word was. It's repeated three times as well. He states, was the word, was with God, was God. And the root word for was is the verb to be or to exist. But the tense of this verb in the original languages is very interesting. And fortunately, I studied the ancient Greek language for like five years, and finally right here, it pays off. <laughs> so I'm going to get my money's worth right here. So here is the tense form of the verb to be. It is the imperfect indicative active tense, which means nothing to most people. But in ancient Greek, it means the verb's action is continuous or always happening. But our English language fails to capture this meaning when we translate it or read it. So the verse could actually be read this way in the English to retain that meaning. It could be read in the beginning was the always existing word. And the word was always existing with God. And the word was one with the always existing and never created God himself. So you can see or maybe hear that as I repeat that, the verb was in English fails to capture this concept. But John's readers would have heard or noticed this. Therefore, what John is trying to tell his people is that Jesus exists and he never did not exist and will continue to exist because he is the spoken word of the eternal and always existing God. So this is what this means. <laughs> it means that what John saw in the three years that he followed Jesus was very unique. He realized at some point that Jesus was not just a human. He was divine. He was the eternal word of God that had come down into this life. And he connected the fact that the Bible was the eternal word of God transcribed. But Jesus was the eternal word of God personified. And that's the decision we all have to make about Jesus. Is he only human or is he also divine? And here's what John is going to spend this entire book proving, that Jesus was the always ever existing word of God personified. Thanks for joining me today, fellas. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, share it with someone else and I'll see you right back here again. <laughs>